Death, taxes, General Electric beating earnings by a penny. Yes, there are some things in life that you can count on. GE stock up Friday morning after the industrial giant did beat earnings by a penny, which is what they often do, pleasing the street in their very predictable way. And that goes back to the days of when Jack Welch was running the show. You got to wonder if there's now someone in the Obama administration that wants to fire out a tweet saying those Fairfield guys will do anything, you know, making fun of the comments about the jobs numbers a few months ago. But you know, stand by it. I, I, I've got a tweet out there that I stand by. To be fair, Jack Welch is no longer running GE. It's now Jeff Immelt. And he's done a pretty good job of lessening GE's reliance on its massive financial services arm. GE Capital was something that was really big during the days of the financial crisis. And that's why GE got tarred with many other big banks after the crisis. I think Immelt realized that they had to scale back their presence in the banking business. And it seems to be working. You have strong growth in their energy business, strong growth in their aviation business, and they had a very sizable backlog of orders for the industrial business. So GE going back to its roots, not trying to be a competitor maybe as much to the big banks on Wall Street, and that obviously paying dividends on Friday.